graphics cards and game consoles continue to be the marquee performance products for consumers. The insatiable demand for a richer gaming experience continues to push memory and system requirements higher. However, increased data rates will be only one of the challenges for future graphics processors and game consoles. Historically, as performances increased, so has power consumption and the physical size of the processor, two trends that cannot continue unchecked due to the physical and thermal limitations. Continued progress by the industry to shrink to smaller geometries has enabled incredibly powerful processors with up to billions of transistors. However, each new process node has seen a dramatic increase in design costs and complexity. The combination of these trends and challenges puts increased pressure on chip designers. Their goal is to meet the widest range of system requirements with a single SOC. An ideal solution would support the full spectrum of system performance needs from entry level all the way to high end. Rambus's terabyte bandwidth initiative represents our ongoing commitment to innovation in cutting edge performance memory architectures. Launched in 2007, we demonstrated innovations that enabled the world's then fastest memory signaling of 16 gigabits per second. In 2009, we integrated some of those innovations into our leadership XDR2 memory architecture. Rambus also demonstrated a multimodal memory controller that enabled a seamless roadmap between XDR and XDR2 memory. The latest advancements of the terabyte bandwidth initiative push differential memory signaling to 20 gigabits per second and single-ended memory signaling to 12.8 gigabits per second. We have designed a controller interface that is compatible with this breakthrough memory signaling and industry standard memories, including GDDR5 and DDR3. Using Rambus innovations, this functionality can all be implemented in a single SOC package design with no additional signal pins. Now I'd like to show you a demo of these capabilities in our second generation terabyte bandwidth initiative test silicon. The test chip was implemented in a 40 nanometer process and has a multimodal four byte wide memory controller interface. To showcase the multimodal functionality, we have three identical copies of the test chip on the system board. Each one is configured in a different memory mode. The first chip is in a high speed differential signaling mode running at 20 gigabits per second. This is the fastest memory signaling demonstration ever achieved. As you can see, the transmit eye is extremely clean with minimal jitter. Even at this unprecedented data rate, the controller interface power efficiency is excellent at just six milliwatts per gigabit per second. This level of performance and power efficiency is achieved using Rambus innovations, including fully differential memory architecture, flex link command address, and 32x data rate. A memory system operating at 20 gigabits per second can enable the photorealistic gameplay and deeply immersive environments of future gaming and graphic systems. Differential signaling has many advantages, particularly when operating at these extremely high data rates. However, current industry standards use single-ended signaling techniques. So, as part of the terabyte bandwidth initiative, we focused on improving the performance of single-ended memory signaling as well. Thanks to Rambus innovations and circuit design techniques, we've pushed single-ended signaling to a record 12.8 gigabits per second. That signaling capability, which is shown here in the transmit eye diagram, will allow single-ended memories to scale to nearly double the current high-end data rates. GDDR5 is the fastest industry standard memory commonly used in today's high-end graphics cards. The second test chip is operating in GDDR5 mode, running at 6.4 gigabits per second. The transmit eye diagram demonstrates how Rambus innovations and design methodologies can improve the signal integrity of industry standard memory interfaces as well. Now, let's take a look at the third test chip operating in DDR3 mode. Here we see the transmit eye running at 2400 megabits per second. Each of these signaling modes, DDR3, GDDR5, advanced single-ended, and high-speed differential, can be implemented in a single memory interface spanning the full operating range, from today's mainstream memory to an advanced future memory running at up to 20 gigabits per second. 
Normally, such multimodal functionality comes at the cost of higher pin count or greater package complexity. We have developed an innovation that enables memory controllers to support both differential and single-ended signaling. It is compatible with industry standard memory and can be implemented in a single SOC package with no additional pins. Flex mode interface technology uses a programmable assignment of signaling pins as either data or command address to minimize signal pin count across single-ended and differential signaling modes. With a single package design and no signal pin overhead, an SOC can address a broad range of system requirements from entry level to high end without additional cost. In combination, the innovations of the Terabyte Bandwidth Initiative have paved multiple paths for the industry that extend single-ended signaling beyond today's limits and provide the means for a seamless transition to differential signaling. By advancing data rates in an extremely power-efficient way and enabling compatibility to current industry standards, Rambus has removed the technical and business barriers for customers to achieve unprecedented capabilities in their products. Rambus, at the heart of the products you love.